You know some people think that Caroline's gonna blow you up. Hey, let me know. Do I need to scoot over? What's going on Instagram? Alright, let's uh no lights here in this uh, there we go. Alright, let me know. Why? Why do I need to go in? Ooh. What? This way? He's good here. Or there. Yeah, now uh, it froze. What oh wait, no, I didn't. Oh, this didn't very scary. Oh yeah, that's good. Ooh. Is the lighting good? Yeah, I think so. so think? Insane, it's a nice little delay, right? It's weird, right? Yeah, it's a delay. It looks crappy on your phone. Does it? Mm-hmm. But. That's so weird. I'm waiting. What the fuck happened? What? Oh. Man, not oh. good. Oh, are we live? We are live. What's going on Facebook, Instagram? <laughs> How y'all doing? Um, Hi mom. I don't know why, but my internet's a little funky right now, so I apologize now for any kind of glitching, buffering, or stuff like that going on. Uh, Instagram, apparently, from what I'm hearing, is the same way. So just bear with me. Maybe here in a minute, everything will clear up. But it is episode six of Sports Saturdays, brought to you by No Tomatoes Podcast. What's going on? The three six one A Rod coming to you live from the studio. V361 Iron. <laughs> young stud and other young stud. Younger, st- well, older, but older young stud. That was good. All right. So today is November 28th, 2020. About 2020, is it? Okay, yeah. 2020. Before we get started. Oh, yeah. All right, so we are going to start with some college today. Ooh, nice. I'm change it up a little bit. You know, we do college today. So right now we got the uh, Clemson game on. Yep. Uh, someone scored a touchdown. I don't know who, but it's just commercial. Clemson got a touchdown. Yeah. Trevor Lawrence is playing, guys. He is back on the field. Oh, what do I want to do first? This one. I. I Hey, so I got four people watching. What's the bigger event y'all gonna watch tonight? Y'all gonna watch UFC or y'all gonna watch the boxing? Cold. Let me know. All right, let's see. Is this matchup? I wanna watch Mike Tyson. We're gonna watch them both here, but I mean, either way. I, I think Mike Tyson's gonna get a knockout. He's still playing? Friday, November, yesterday, Saturday, there we go. Oh, look, that's the, this one, that, that's the dude who fucking, all right. Five people watching, all right, who's watching? Say hi, wait, do something. UFC, okay, come on, we have four more people watching. What else? You can't just watch and not say something, people, come on. We're trying to interact here, all right? It's commentary. And this is a very active stream, all right? Yeah, I know he's eating Wingstop, and I'm over here being the man of the hour, starving. All right, so today, who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? You want to go first? You want to go first? You want to go first? Go first? All right, I'll go first. All right, so Texas Tech, Oklahoma State, that game just finished. 50 to 44. Oklahoma State got the dub in there. Kent State and Buffalo, it says it's live, but that game's actually over. The running back for Kent State, 385 rushing yards with eight touchdowns. Eight touchdowns. Kent State, I'm going to let you know, won that game. That's just bad Uh, defense. That is horrible defense. Horrible. I don't know why it shows that it's still live. My shit's still loading. All right, uh, Ball State and Toledo. Ball State won 27-24. Uh, North Carolina State and Syracuse, that's going on right now. Miami 08 versus Akron, that's mm-hmm. live right now on ESPN3. Carolina Coastal or Coastal Carolina versus Texas State, that's live on ESPN+. Plus. We got Louisiana and UL Monroe on ESPN3 also. I didn't even know there was an ESPN3. Where's ESPN8, Yocho? We got North Texas and UTSA. 
What's up, UTSA? How you doing, Roadrunners? Uh, that's live right now. It doesn't say where they're playing on. Well, that's South Alabama and Arkansas State. That's on ESPN3. Pittsburgh and Clemson, that's the game we're watching right now. Clemson is number three right now, and I'll give you a score update as soon as they get off the TV. Let's go. So Alabama, Notre Dame, Clemson, Ohio State, A&M, and Florida. Those are your top six guys for the NCAA. And I'm going to play on one of their teams. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to play on LSU. So we got Clemson. No, that's not Clemson. Yeah, Clemson's kicking off to Pittsburgh right now. And as soon as we get the fuck, 14 score, zero, Jesus Christ. 17 zero. No, I'm pretty sure it's 17 picks. 17 zero. 17 zero. What up, Jacob? Shh, rugby. So, watch some comments here. Comments here. All right. Still going. Well, you're wrong, commented. All right, uh, where were we? All right, Northwestern mm -hmm. Michigan State. Mm -hmm. That's on ESPN regular. Troy and Appalachian State, ESPN 2. Kentucky and Florida. Florida won 34-10 against Kentucky. Maryland and Indiana. Uh, looks like Indiana won against Maryland 27-11. Penn State against Michigan. Penn State won 27-17. North Illinois and Western Michigan. Two D2s. 30-27 uh, Western Michigan won that one. All right, there we go. Oh, Maryland. There we go. Bowling Green and Ohio. Ohio with the upset. No, okay, I'm not gonna say upset, but with the ass open. 52 to 10. Oof. Sometimes you see I learn to go home. SMU East Carolina, 52 to 38. Ooh, hey, how you doing, Lily? I see you, girl. Sorry, AT and T's over here. Anyways, uh, where was I? Georgia Southern, Georgia State. Looks like Georgia State won that one, 30-24. Vanderbilt versus Missouri. Mizzou, 41-0. That's some strong defense right there. Uh, Auburn and Alabama live right now. Auburn, 22. Alabama, 1. 7-0 on that game right now, guys. Alabama is up. They are undefeated. Mississippi State and Ole Miss. We got, that's 3 p.m., so that'll be coming up right now. Uh, Rutgers of Purdue, that's coming up right now. Louisville and Boston College coming up right now. San Diego State and Colorado at 4. LSU and a and M. that's at 6. Memphis and Navy's at 6. Duke and Georgia Tech is also at 6. Kansas State and Baylor at 6. Georgia and South Carolina at 6.30. Utah, Washington, 6.30. Uh, Arizona, UCLA at 7, TCU and Kansas Jayhawks at 7, Nevada and Hawaii at 10 p.m. And for your canceled games, I'm going to read them in order. Ohio State, Illinois, Cincinnati Temple, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Louisiana Tech, Florida International, UTEP Rice, and San Jose State and Boise. For the postponed games for today, we got Oklahoma, West Virginia, Tulsa, Houston, and Florida Atlantic against Middle Tennessee. So those are your postponed games for today. Wait, Virginia and Florida State? Wait, let's see the whole. I want to refresh this real quick. Refresh this. Did you just say Johnson as early as two weeks? Improve the appearance of your intestinal lining. All right, Pittsburgh fans at 17 0. Auburn. Let's see any of these in the game. Nope. No? All right. So, off to the one and only reason y'all come to watch us. The commentary, the trash talk, the NFL Sports the Saturday updates. NFL. The NFL update. Coming to you by the 361 Ira. 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 Dang it. Okay. Um, this was Monday Night Football. Um, this was on the 23rd. It was Rams versus Buccaneers. And the Rams defeated Buccaneers 27 to 24. Um, oh, I, I watched it. I watched a little bit of that game and it looked boring, but it was probably because the Rams are playing and it was a boring team in general. And the <laughs> Thursday night game, which was the Thanksgiving games, happy late Thanksgiving. Um, Ooh, to happy all y'all watching. For those um, who do celebrate it. The, the first one, the first game of the day was. Texans versus the Lions. It was 41 to 25, and Texans 
came out with the dub, and I saw at the very end, um, I was watching it, and it looked like, like the Lions just straight gave up. They, it looked like they were just wanting to go home, eat some turkey, and they were just, they were finished. Man. And this one, Washington versus the Cowboys. Whoop! Washington destroyed the Cowboys, 41 to 16. My favorite thing in the world. Cowboys getting destroyed by one of the worst teams ever. <laughs> Not ever, but like they still suck. But um, now off to the upcoming schedule. This is Sunday at 12 p.m. Chargers v. Bulls. Chargers versus the Bulls. Bills. Bills. Okay. Uh, Bills are most likely going to win that one with their insanely good. Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. Um, next is Titans versus the Colts. Um, that could be a decent game, actually. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Probably. Um, next. Mm-hmm. <laughs> next we have our Panthers versus the Vikings. Ooh. Who you got there? I think I got the Vikings. I think Skull all the way. Who do you think? Vikings. Um. I got Panthers. You got Panthers on that one? Yeah. These Panthers are just looking really good. They know that Christian McCaffrey, but Teddy Bridgewater, Teddy Two Gloves has been doing really good. So. You know what I like about Teddy? Is that he was an all-star. Oh, not all-star. He was a great starter, right? I mean, okay, not great, but he was a starter, period. Yeah. And then he kind of just disappeared, like fell in second string. And then out of nowhere, he, here he comes back. Well, he got hurt. He got. He well, I'm talking, okay. So, probably when I was. Shit, Teddy's been in the game a long time. So, he was a starter. I don't remember who, was, who he played for. But he started, and then he went back down second string, and he came out of nowhere, and he's back starting again. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's that shows a lot of resilience. I mean, just in, in the athlete period, but especially for a quarterback, like, for him not to give up. You know what I mean? It's kind of like. Flacco, Flacco was falling off at the end, and then he yeah. got a, he got a chance with Denver. Didn't do anything with Denver. Now he goes back to who's it with yes. the Jets? The Jets, and he actually did good that first game. They they put him back in. Pissed me the fuck off because he didn't play for shit when the fuck Denver had him. But you know, hey. Facebook, come on, we need some more people here. Y'all need to hear my wonderful. Your mom's the only one watching. We got one person. Uh, oh, mom? we got two. Ooh, sweet. I'm on, I'm on my knee. Welcome. Next we have Browns versus Jaguars. Ooh, I got the Browns. Ooh. I think Browns too. I, 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 all I know is that that's going to be an extremely good game. Remember guys, game. I don't know anything about football, so I'm just picking teams. It's literally going to be basically trash versus recycle. That's literally it. It's horrible. It's, it, I wonder I, how many weeks I, in a row he's going to use that same. I do yeah. not recommend you watch that game because it is going to be the most boring thing you'll ever watch. You, you're you better off watching paint dry on walls than watching that game. Just the same. But Browns are going to win. Okay, next we have our Giants versus some Bills. Bengals. 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 Oh, hmm. what do you think's going on that one? Giants. Giants. Bengals just lost Joe Burrow. Oh, horribly. Yeah. ACL and MCL. That really sucks. That's season ending. That really sucks. I don't that could be game one, that's season ending. That is a hard <sighs> He's such a good quarterback. He's probably gonna miss a couple of games next season. Too. Yeah. Oh bad. It it really depends on how on how they target it, are you fucking serious? Fucking Pittsburgh targeted someone on Clemson, and he's just been ejected, guys. Update. Ooh, I didn't and he's getting that. dapped up by his teammate. Well, yes, sir. For fucking targeting. Look, I got one thing to say. If you gotta fucking play dirty, don't play the sport. If you ain't that good, sit your ass down. What a horrible thing. Alright, so where we at? Oh, um... Giants, Bengals, Giants, we got that one. Yeah. Versus oh, Patriots. and Clemson just scored a touchdown. Two yard TD rush by Travis. <laughs> what up, Maddie? The team. The team. Okay, next game Cardinals versus the Patriots. 
I actually have the Cardinals on that one. Cardinals. Cardinals, Cardinals all day. Oh, yeah. They they've proven that they can be they can beat some pretty good teams. I I want to see Cardinals Seahawks. go to the Super Bowl, this win it, good. and then Larry Fitzgerald retires. Yeah, they, you know they, what? There's a lot of people who honestly. I don't think need to retire, but I think should retire. Well, like this is gonna be the year. I think I said that last year also, but there's a lot of people who I think just for the sake of their own body need to hang yeah. up the cleats. Yeah. Because I'd hate to see Big Ben was lucky enough to come back and play the way he's playing. Larry Fitzgerald's getting on. I mean, he's he's getting there. You know, I mean, there's people young. They're they're still young. Don't get me wrong, but they've been in the league 10, 12, yeah. 15 years. And they're still going at it, and I give it up to them. But I mean, eventually, you're but the beatings that they take, and I, I, I don't want to say on a daily basis, but on a you know reoccurring basis, takes a toll. I mean, regular work, you know what I mean? Like waking up early in the morning, and doing something strenuous every day, like it, it breaks you down. And these football players are. I mean, granted, they are a specimen, unlike no other person there is. Yeah, you already got but, millions in the bank. You just retire, live a good life, nice, nice, warm job, and you live your life, man. So after the carnival, we got dolphins and jets. I got dolphins. Uh, dolphins, dolphins. That's a Satasso. Roll the dice. It's a roll of the dice. No, Where is probably the Dolphins, though. Dolphins. I think two is going to come back strong after getting upset by Denver. Yeah. 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 That's like seeing them really just like this. Uh, Raiders and Falcons? Oh! Falcons, probably. Uh, I don't know. Carr, he, he's going to be pissed off from last week. I think Raiders may do it. Eh. Okay, next we're on but to the... 12-15, that game is not at 12-15. The Ravens and Steelers are not playing tomorrow, guys. They're playing Tuesday. Okay, so it will not be Ravens and Steelers. Just I believe they're playing Tuesday, happens. unless there's an update. Someone, anybody? Michael Simmons Dolphins. says Dolphins. Oh, I agree with him. He's um, a Saints fan, too. Well. He already messaged me. He's like, don't think I forgot about the Saints playing Denver this week. <laughs> well, next game, 305, Mike, is, I see the, Mike. is the Saints versus the Broncos. 305 tomorrow, Saints and Broncos. Admit it, but the Broncos probably. I really want to see Taysom Hill. He's it's, gonna destroy a defense like that, I think. That's that's the thing. If if he comes out playing like he plays, it's not gonna be good. But if Denver's defense plays the way they they can play, he's gonna get a real awakening. Because I don't know. If they play. Jason Hill's a beast. Oh, he is. Ooh, that but he hasn't been hit. Broncos, why do you suck? Okay, the next game. Um, 49ers and the Rams. NFC West game. Um, I have the... I have the... Hmm, actually, I don't know about that one. I got the Rams. I think it actually will be the Rams. But um it yeah for sure be the way. Because 49ers have lost too many people to yeah. even attempt. Sorry, game. Justin. I think they're taking please, please please get me started, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a 325 game. Uh Chiefs versus the Buccaneers. Chiefs. Chiefs. That's not a question. Chiefs. Chiefs. Next game. Seven this is Sunday night. Is Brady's gonna get it? No. But I'm pretty sure Tom Brady. Time. Is uh two and one against uh Mahomes though. Yeah, every time they go against each other too, it's a really big yardage game yeah. for both of them. Is it, and, but that's not even something like a yard reception. Like it kind of speaks. It speaks like against their defense. Like that's the one thing. You know what I mean? I mean, when you got two really good quarterbacks like that, all star quarterbacks, especially at his young age, Mahomes is just fucking doing things that. Texas yeah. boys do. Raven Steelers move good, to Tuesday good. at 7 p.m. Thank you for the update. Anybody else? And nope. I think the Steelers have a win on their hands right there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Steelers. But, oh, the Steelers and Ravens? Yeah, because just because Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson is, is out. 
for yeah, COVID. 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 But I think Ten their backup quarantine. quarterback is actually like pretty good. Um, I don't Chase remember. McSorley. Yeah, you know, you know what college he went to? Uh, he went to I don't, I don't know, but I know it's like a Navy Blue College. That's their college. I think it's the like Air Force or something. I don't know. Actually, no. Where'd you go? I don't know. Maybe, I know. maybe Penn State. I th- yeah, actually, no. I think he did go to Penn State. I'm gonna look but um, can you finish the thing, something? Yeah, uh, 720 Bears and Packers. One of the biggest rivalries there's ever been in the film, alright? Right? right? Bears and the Packers, biggest. Right? The biggest. Packers. Monday night game, Seahawks and Eagles. Fly high, baby. Um, Seahawks. Seahawks. All day. Carson Wentz, man, let me down. Yep. <laughs> Trace McSorley went to Penn State. Good job. Way to go, guys. Hi, two. Hi, two. What movie is that from? Hey two, hey two. But yeah, Seahawks and Eagles. Man, Carson Wentz, he's, he could easily be one of the best quarterbacks, but he's just not having it this year. Not his year. I, I had this talk with uh, Raul and Neves on how you can put a bad quarterback on a different team and it changes everything. Like, I mean, obviously all these quarterbacks are great quarterbacks. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they're in the NFL. Yeah. But there's just some quarterbacks who just Ooh. can't produce with certain teams. You know what I mean? Whether it's it's uh, they're new to the team, they're not used to the play calls, they're not used to the, the book, uh, the line just isn't holding up for them. Coaches are using them. Yeah, like, to the full yeah. potential. I mean, sometimes you got to let the boys run. But... Yeah, I mean, Wentz is, is great. He just needs to get some of his ass. Uh, we you did, heard me, Wentz. Didn't we already go against the NCAA? Oh, uh, yeah, we did NCAA. Is there a mm-hmm. No, I think that's it. Mm-hmm. All right. So, let's go to our... Oh, excuse me, guys. Um, what do you know? Uh, rugby update. Super updated. No, super updated, guys. Not just updated, super. Super updated. Sammy Lee, um, hello. Bubba's mom. Bubba. I just well, want to talk about the Washington and Cowboys game. That uh-oh. sucked. <laughs> but, I don't know, it was like a really good game, and I really think the Cowboys had a chance to win, and then freaking Zeke fumbled it. Like the first play, the first drive of the, first, or the second half. Oh, no. And it literally just went straight downhill after that. Then that's what he was doing. Washington scored, and then Cowboys get the ball back, all kind of like hurt and defeated already, just off of one play. And then first play again, he gets picked off by a D lineman, and he don't does, and they run it yeah. back for a touchdown. And that's just the dagger in the heart. And that, that D-line pick was the exact same pick that J.J. Watt had in his game before that. Block pass, caught it, and ran it. What's the block? Oh, another touchdown. Um, this Clemson so, game. Score update, guys. Uh, 30 to 0. Clemson's on top. Love that team. But I, anyways, 30 let's, zero. Get, wow. let's get to our... Beautiful rugby update. Give Brought to you me. by the one and only Jacob Torres. I see you, buddy. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for the work that you do, guys. Um, I can't thank him enough, guys. Jacob Torres is one of my real good friends. When I first moved to Minnesota, that's when I started working for at and uh, He was a great friend. He still is a good friend. And he's about to have a baby soon. Ooh, and uh, I appreciate you so much, Jacob. And thanks for still being with me. Okay. And keep these updates coming, bro. This is the Guinness Pro 14 round seven results. Ospreys versus Bennington, Benetton. Um, Ospreys beat Bennington 24 to 22. Super close game. Now we have Zebra Rugby versus Knox. Oh, nice. 47 to 12. Knox comes out on top. That's a blowout, no matter what sport you watch. But next is Leinster versus Cardiff a 40 to 5 deficit? I mean, a 40 to 5 win. Maybe a 35 and point deficit. Le- Look at you all Leinster. famous. You said, What's up, Greg? Leinster beat Cardiff, you're saying. 
Um, next we have Ulster versus Scarlet. It's another two point game. Uh, Ulster has 26. Ulster had 26, and Scarlet had 24. Super close game. Um, next we have Glasgow versus Munster, and this was it's not Glasgow versus Munster. This was not a close game. It was 27 to 13. Munster on top. Well, I mean, if you think, I don't know what their scoring points are, but I mean, if in normal football, that's a close game. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, yeah. But, I mean, but pretty, don't they go by like five or whatever? Even that's two well, touchdowns I, I, I don't know. or two I really don't know. scores. I don't know. I gotta watch rugby. But now we're on to our standings. This conference, conference A, Leinster, um, seven and zero with thirty five points on top. And then we have number two, Ulster, seven and zero, thirty three points. Number three is Ospreys, which is three and four with thirteen points. Next we have number four, Glasgow, one and five with five points. Dragons at number five with one and th- which is one and three with five points as well. And six. Zebra Rugby with one and Rugby? six. Run and six. <laughs> I mean, Zebra Rugby with 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 a bet, one bet, and six. Bet, bet. Um, Eric, Eric, Eric. A one and six. Come on, DJ Skip. A schedule with also five points. This is Conference B now. Um, uh, number one is Munster six and zero with twenty seven points. Number two is Scarlet with. Three and four with tries. 16. They're called tries, not goals. Tries. Thank you, Jacob. 30. Scarlet um, with 16 points. Next we have three, which is knocked. <laughs> three and two with 15 points. Um, wait, how is that? How are what? they below? Not. They. They have. If you look at the percentages, then that percentages? is. Yeah, percentages. That's three. Three and two. Or two over three is way more than three over four. They've played more games. Yeah. But they've plus scored they've more lost. points, though. Plus, Jacob told us how the points are scored. Yeah, remember right? they uh, on the tries, and if they beat a team by so much, so they get more points, points also. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, but you, you got to remember, they're, they're two games behind, so you give them two more games, they're probably back up on top because they played two more games. Oh. Well, sorry for that, Jacob, but... Um, Next, this is number four, Cardiff Blues, which is three and four as well with 14 points. Um, number five, Eidenberg, with with two and four and 10 points. And ooh, last place, Benetton, 0 and five with two points. Round eight, this is November 29th. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, Benetton versus the Dragons at 10 a.m. Uh, and Cardiff versus Glasgow at 1.35 p.m. Um, November 30th, which Monday. is on Monday, uh, Munster versus Zebra Rugby um, at 2.15, and Eidenberg versus Ulster, which is also at 2.15. Um, you can catch all of these on the ESPN Plus app. This is the Gallagher Premiership. Since rejoining the Premiership, the Newcastle Falcons are making a statement. Not only did they beat Bath, they have also come off with a close win against Sale. You can watch all of these on the Peacock TV app. And this is in the Gallagher Premiership still. Round one results. So this already happened. Harlequins versus the Exeter Chiefs. Um, Exeter Exeter um, beat the Harlequins. 33 to 3. Um, a big blowout, but next we have the Sale Sharks versus Northampton Saints. Um, a semi close game, not really, but um, Sale Sharks came out with a 32 to 23 win. Next we have Bath Rugby versus the Newcastle Falcons. Um, Newcastle came out on top with a 19 to 12 victory against the Bath. Bath. That was an extra um, close game coming up right there. Worcester Warriors versus London Irish. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> it was 11 to 10. <laughs> 11 to 10. One point game. That was extremely close. Um, next we have the Leicester Tigers versus 
Gloucester, Gloucester Rugby, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, it was 38 to 15. Uh, the Tigers, I'm just gonna say, um, beat um, Gloucester, Gloucester 38 to 15. Next we have the Wasps uh, versus the Bristol Bears. Wasps with the club game, uh, 23 to 20, coming out on top. Um, next, we're on to the standings of the Premiership. Uh, number one, Newcastle, Newcastle Falcons, 2-0 with 8 points. Number two, South Sharks, 1-1 one one with 6 points. Exeter Chiefs, 1-0 with 5 points. Number four, um, Leinster Tigers, 1-0 with 5 points as well. Um, next, we have the Wasps, which is number five. 1-0 with 4 points. 6 is Wor Worcester Warriors. 1-0 with 4 points as well. Number 7, London Irish. 0-0-1 um, oh with 1 point. 8, Bristol Bears. 0-1. Oh 1 point. 9, Math Rugby. 0-1. One. 1 point. Next we have Northampton Saints. 0-1 oh with 0 points. 11, Glouch Gloucester. 0 and 1 with 0 points. And last place, Harlequins 0 and 1, 0 points. They're all really tied for last place. Yeah, that's yeah. really all it is. Yeah. Next, we have round two. Um, Which was yesterday. Yesterday. Um, uh, AKA my, my little brother and older sister's birthday. Um, both of them. Both of them. Both. Both of them. Next we have this the round two November twenty seventh was New Castle Falcons versus the Sail Sharks fifteen to thirteen. Um, November twenty eighth today is Northampton Saints twenty nine to forty nine Harlequins beating the Saints Bristol Bears the Worcester Warriors Bristol beat the Warriors thirty to thirteen. Gloucester Rugby versus the Wasps. Gloucester beat Wasps 40 to 24. Next, last, um, Exeter, Exeter Chiefs versus Bath Rugby with a blowout. Um, Chiefs beating Rug Bath 40 to 3. Now this is tomorrow, November 29th, um, London Irish with versus the Leicester. Leicester's Tigers. Uh, 10, 10 15 a.m. tomorrow. Um, next, we're on to the World Rugby. Now, after their history, making win over New Zealand, Argentina went on to face Australia in the fourth game of the Tree Nations series. The score came down to a draw at 15 oh, 15. Spears high, they went to face New Zealand again yesterday, 27th, the t on the 27th. And needless to say, New Zealand got their payback. The game ended with a 38-0 victory in favor of New Zealand. I had this in the first for a while. <laughs> Australia and Argentina face off again December 5th. You can watch all the Tri Nation series Tri Nation. Tri Nation series. <laughs> Um, on the ESPN Plus app. Next, we're on to Autumn Nation. This whole time. <laughs> Autumn Nation. Oh, uh, this is round two. England versus Ireland. Ireland, Ireland, England. <laughs> England beat Ireland eighteen to seven. Uh, this is Wales versus Georgia. Um, Wales um, beat Georgia with an eighteen to zero victory. Oh, and she's Scotland. <laughs> there it is. Fifteen. Oh, there it is. They lost. They lost. You ready, Jacob? <laughs> to France. Um, fifteen to twenty-two. France came out on top. Next game, Italy versus Fiji. <laughs> Italy versus Fiji. Um, twenty-eight to oh, um, victory, but it was canceled. Oh, right there. It says right there. It says right there. Fiji had to forfeit their second ever game in the Autumn Nations Cup to having a COVID outbreak. What the fuck? Did they just randomly have it? Like in the middle of the game? 
No matter what league it yeah, is, I'm not sure. When you forfeit a game, oh. the opposing team automatically gets 28 points. Mm -hmm. four, tries. four tries. What do you think about four tries? Um, which includes a bonus point, which is why Italy showed 28 uh, to 0 oh, against dripping. Fiji for round two and will be granted five points in the game. Damn, so no attack. <laughs> and there's still, there's still Italy. Where is the moment? Italy's. They got five points and they're still in third place. Wow, that, that sucks for them. But uh, so much emphasis on the Scott in Scotland. That's what Scotland. Jacob said. <laughs> this just this got back from Colorado. How was it, bro? Ooh. Did you like just get in right now, Julian? But, Let um, me know. Here are the standings for Pool A. Number one is England, two and zero oh, with nine points. Number two is Ireland. One and one was four points. Number three is Wales. One and one was four points. And last, last um, place, Georgia. Zero oh and two, zero points. Next we're on to Pool B. Scotland is number one with is with two to one with eleven points. We're good. Number canceled. two is. France. I'm glad we don't have sponsors. <laughs> France, 2 0 with 9 points, second place. Italy, um, 1 and 1 with 5 points. Golly, y'all suck. How did y'all get how did y'all get 5 points and still are in first? Wow. But um, next, last in pool B, um, Fiji is 0 3, 0 points. Next we're off, round 3. Wales versus England. Wales lost 13 to 24. Ireland versus Georgia. Um, that hasn't happened yet. But Scotland versus Fiji is canceled. Due to um, the COVID outbreak. Yes. And France versus Italy. Um, that has not happened yet. You can watch these events in two different ways. Um, sign up for Flow Sports membership, or you can watch them for free. On YouTube, a couple hours after they are recorded, um, and that will be it for our rugby update of episode six. All right. So, given today is, oh, excuse me, hold on. Hello. All right. So, not major fights today, but major fights. Mike Tyson and Roy Jones are fighting tonight. That's not the funny thing, though. The funny thing is the fucking undercard. <laughs> because fucking... Which one is it? Jake Paul. Jake Paul is fighting Nate fucking Robinson. Nate Robinson? Yeah, I'd like to see player. Nate Robinson whoop his ass. But, I hate Jake Paul. But, I used to watch him. Uh, Jake, Jake Paul's Paul. tall. He's like, what, 6'1", 185, something like that? I mean, he's a pretty yes, stocky yeah. dude. But... I still think he's a fucking joke. Yeah, he is a joke. He is a boxer, but like he's. Well, now he is. Yeah, he's been he's been taking it very serious. But I mean, you think them fucking YouTube pranks finally caught up to him, and he realized that he wasn't relevant anymore, so yeah. he had to do something to make money. Probably, yeah. I mean, look at the fight with him and KSI. KSI is a fucking chump. That was um against KSI. Oh, well, both chumps. Oh yeah. And. Speaking of Logan Paul, he is attempting to go up against Floyd Money Mayweather. So I suggest we watch that and watch Logan Paul get his. What? Oh, That's I can't say the other one. D yeah. Um, it, All right, so. He's actually serious about fighting Floyd, too. And, like. So he got the fight card right here, alright? So, prelims for that. We got Giuseppe Cus. Sumano versus Nick Jones, heavyweight. What the fuck is this? Why, why, this, this? Shut up. Alright, sorry guys. DS4 for my show is playing. Alright, uh, Irving Gonzalez Jr. versus Edward Vasquez are featherweights. Jermaine Ortiz versus Nahir Albright. They are lightweights, and that's all the prelim cards. And then. Uh, Starting on the main card, Vidal Riley versus Rashad Coulter, cruiserweight, six round. Badu Jack versus Blake McKernan, they're light heavyweights, that's going to be an eight round fight. Jake Paul versus Nate Robinson. 
Cruiserweights, that's going to be a six-round fight. Six rounds too long, if you ask me. And then the one and only Mike, the Fury... No, wait, what's his name? Iron Mike. Iron Mike Tyson. Versus Roy Jones Jr. WBC Frontline Championship, eight round fight. I remember growing up, going with my dad to watch these over at his buddy's house, watching Mike Tyson fight all the time. Jones, Lennox, De La Hoya, all of them. Um, I'm gonna stay true to the old school and I'm gonna go with Mike. I'm really what do you think? I'm gonna go with Mike too. You go with Mike? Yeah. Uh, like, I haven't really seen any, anything on Mike. Jones. I mean, he, he's in he's in some good shape. Yeah, don't get is. me wrong. I think both. I'll tell you what. Both these guys, for the age that they are in, Jesus Christ. Although Mike Tyson is old, um, and he will win, let's just pray that Roy Jones doesn't get his ear bitten off. I'm pretty sure we're past that. Mike, I'm sorry, Mike. It's still funny. Don't man. hurt him. How, how the heck did that even possible? How do you bite somebody's ear off? By opening your mouth, putting the air inside it, buzzing it. It's like biting into a... It's cartilage, it's nothing. Yeah. It's like a piece like of a, fat. Like a carrot. That's your finger. So that's our, our boxing update here. Uh, but also, also, we have UFC tonight. Uh, the main card did get canceled, guys, due to COVID. So, uh, Lewis Blade... No, Curtis Blade versus Derek Lewis was canceled. Uh, I don't remember who uh, got COVID, but they did, so that got canceled and it's getting rescheduled. Um, so Anthony Smith is actually going to be the new main card or the uh, the main event. Anthony Smith versus Devin Clark. Anthony Smith was actually born here in Corpus Christi, but he didn't grow up here. Just a little, a little statistic for you. Uh, we got welterweight, we got Miguel Beza versus Takashi Sato. Heavyweight, we got Josh Harrison versus Parker Porter. Uh, his name's PP. His name's PP, guys. PP. Featherweight, we got Spike Carlisle versus Bill Gio. Bantamweight for the women. Ashley Evan Smith versus Norma Dumont. What else we got here? Featherweight, Jonathan Pierce versus Kai Kamaka. And all these guys are going to be at 9 p.m. today at the UFC Apex Arena there in Vegas. Uh, you catch these on ESPN Plus. Oh, ESPN 2, I'm sorry. And then ESPN Plus, I believe, for the prelims. Who else we got? Uh, UFC on ESPN 19 headline. What? Intrigent. Oh, I'm not going to say that word on the Facebook. Sorry. All right. But uh, I got Smith, Beza, Porter, Carlisle, Evan Smith, and Kamaka for my picks tonight. Kamaka. Kamaka. Eight and two. We got six and four. Did I say Carlisle? I said Carlisle, right? Mm. I'm not sure. All right, well, Carlisle, if I didn't say Carlisle. Porter, Beza, and Smith. Uh, Smith lost his last fight. It wasn't too impressive. But, hey, you know what? He was born in Corpus, so I got to represent for my city. All right, that's the only reason I do this shit. Um, before we go, obviously, go catch me on Instagram. Go catch me on Twitter, the 361 a Rod on both uh, platforms. Also on YouTube, No Tomatoes, Explanation Point, Podcast. Go find me. It's a picture of a squash tomato because I threw that shit right out the fucking window. So, no tomatoes explanation point on YouTube. No tomatoes explanation point podcast on YouTube. Uh, questions, comments, concerns. Uh, you got some ideas for an episode you want to do with me or anything like that. Any of y'all small business owners out there or something. It's no tomatoes pod at gmail.com. Shoot me an email online. You got some kind of benefit, whether it's uh, a death in the family, you got something you're trying to raise money for, uh, kids sick, you need, you need whatever it is, guys, shoot me an email, notesandmailspot at gmail.com, and I will do what I can to get the word out for your benefit. I got a whole four people watching, so you know everyone's going to be blowing you up if you let me know about whatever it is you're doing. Same with uh, Instagram, I got two. So I got y'all back, obviously. 
Oh. Uh, what? Tomorrow? What time? Uh, 11 30. 11.15 is my game tomorrow. John Paul Field, right? John Paul Field. John Paul Field. Um, we're actually going against the CCY football team. Um, that's a different um, league than what we're in. Our disgusting, horrible, garbage league. Oh, um, yeah, you said that on Facebook Live. Uh, Smash Bros. sucks. <coughs> it's not oh. a shame to say that's that so y'all funny. suck. I'm kidding. But, um,. Yeah, uh, it's John Paul Field at 11 like, uh, He's kicked out of the <laughs> We are, uh, it, we're going to be there an hour um, before, an hour early. Um. You'll catch me, Isaiah, and the rest of the senior Hornets warming up at 10 15. Uh, it is John Paul. It's also going to be, I hate to say it, and it makes me a little teary eyed, um, the last game I coached for Isaiah. Ever. Um, yeah, he will be going to seventh grade next year, obviously. And I'm not about to become a teacher just to coach him. Uh, I will keep working with him, obviously, uh, as I do uh, now. But it will be the last game that I literally get to call him one of my players. And it's, it's sad. And there's a bunch of other kids, obviously, that are on the team who I won't be able to coach again. I'll still be able to work with them. Um, but not to being able to call one of my football kids is it is sad and i don't know if i'm gonna coach again after this honestly uh we got jeremiah still he's young um but i don't know it's uh it's really up in the air from this point on as much as i hate to say it i mean i love coaching and working with these kids and yelling at them and making sure their parents don't hear me cuss but um yeah i don't know it's, it is a burden uh, Time-wise, sometimes, especially my work schedule, but I mean, I like putting the kids first, so I may suck it up and just keep doing it. I don't know, but that's all I got for an Ultimato Sports Saturdays episode six. Six weeks in a row, guys. We haven't missed one fucking episode yet. Not one Saturday. Nothing. We don't plan on it. Yeah. Oh, but. Oh wait. I do have something. If possibly you have like a kid that is around 11 to 7, 11 to 7 years old um, and play football and you want them to get to know sport or like you want them to get in shape or whatever, um, I would gladly be able to like work out with your children, um, like teach them the sport of football, get them really good at what, what you want them to do. And yeah, I'd, I'd be happy. And don't think that it would annoy me. Might annoy my father, but um, yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't annoy me um, for y'all, y'all to want like your kid to work out with somebody and get them in good shape for what they're ever they're gonna do. So. Tones. And then, and then words, comments, anything. Mm. So I don't know. Maria might not know, but our mom, she did test positive for COVID, but she's feeling a lot better now. So we talked to her yesterday. It was actually uh, Tony's dad's birthday, yep. and which is my stepdad and our mom's and his dad's anniversary. Yeah. So congratulations! I remember being on the wedding, and this dude was like fucking this tall. You can't tell, but that's like short. Yeah. I remember it was a good day. Could have walked. Been a long while. But uh, obviously our thoughts and prayers or best wishes are with my mom so she can recover. But like I said, she is feeling better, so that's good. Um, her being so far away, it is a big burden on us, so we act like it doesn't bother us, but it really, oh my God, he just, oh my God, sorry. Uh, it is, it's, it's concerning, you know, it's, she's 1,700 miles away from us, so something bad did happen. Um, it did put us in a bind, but we are glad that she's doing better. So mom, get better. Stay resting. Isolate, guys. I know as much as it sucks. Wear your mask if you need to wear your mask. Um, if you don't believe in it, hey, that's fine. Just do what you gotta do. Socially distance or whatever, at least. Um, and you gotta protect your loved ones. Yeah. Uh, thank you, guys, for getting us some. Look forward to it. Saturday. Good job. Thank you. I'm gonna send I ride a rugby ball. Yeah. You can get a rugby ball. Oh, really? Yeah, I love those rugby. balls. But, uh, hey, we love y'all guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, like, share, comment, repost this, blow up everyone's newsfeed. I don't care. We get five views, we get 500. We're going to keep doing this whether you like it or not. So suck it up and keep watching.
Peace. Thank you. And this video. And it there. Peace, Instagram. Bye. And where's the end? How do I end this shit? It's working. Figure it out. Nope. Nope. I think I gotta hit this button. There we go. Uh,